Okay, what you have here is a, a Renegy 100 watt polycrystalline solar panel and it comes with the uh, 30 amp solar charger along with two 10 inch connectors. Go ahead and uh, get this set up and start throwing some power in the batteries. Alright, you can see there I got him in. Then I got my little 35 watties. I got him right here. But, uh, I said it's just 100 watt at the start. I got that and the uh, 1300 watt power inverter for uh, $195. Alright, I got it hooked up here in the house. And as you can see, got my DC light on there. Turn it off right here. Yeah, I just do press this button. But yeah, there you have it. It's just uh, the very beginning of um, our off grid. Like I said, we just have that one 100 watt polycrystalline panel and then the uh, Sunforce 15 watt amorphous panel. And we have, there, I'm just using that car battery for my blazer, and I have one more. <clears throat> That's in the blazer now. Um, I just bring, you know, just swapping them out to uh, keep one charge at all times. Like I said, I, I try not to get it below 50%. And uh, I'm just going to wire these other uh, lights up to it uh, in, in serious circuit there, and uh, we'll be good to go um, on the DC light aspect. And as I mo add more panels, um, I was wanting to have my outlets AC, so that would be the inverter and my lights for DC. That way we wouldn't plug nothing in uh, just out of habit and, uh, you know, nothing won't work, you know, like computer or things of that nature, because I do not have a pure sine wave inverter at the moment, but I do have the uh, 1300 watt modified sine wave, and I'm hesitant on hooking up the refrigerator on the modified because I don't want to take a chance of uh, messing it up but I'm I'm going, going to go do it right now and uh, bring my modified out and just hook it up and see you know exactly how much of a surge and all that it throws I'll be right back okay as you can see there this is the inverter that we bought along with the solar panel it's a 1300 watt X shade DC to you know 110 and to give you a size comparison my hands uh, 4 by 8 and you know it's right at 8 inches all right so now we're going to just plug in the uh, well one second okay and it has uh, no matter if you're in US or uh, you know Europe you can use it because it's spaced out for it. it. Has a little USB plug, and it has an alarm, automatic shutdown. Like when your battery's too low, it'll automatically shut itself off. Things of that nature. Only kickback is it's a modified sound wave, and uh, this was uh, sixty-nine dollars. Not from Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up. And as you can see, I don't know if I got a light. Okay, yeah, it's not on. I don't think I'll be tricking you or whatnot. But plug it in. Negative, negative, and positive to positive. As you 
Let's see, it just runs it fine. Cut it off. Now what we'll probably do is uh, during the day is run us run the refrigerator during the day, but at night shut it off. Um, like I said, uh, I'm gonna freeze some uh, two liter bottles to keep them froze. Uh, that way it helps the freezer instead of having an empty freezer. And uh, as you know, cold air sinks, so it'll sink through the bottom. But like I said, I don't, I really don't want to run this refrigerator on the modified sound wave because uh, it may mess it up. Although this refrigerator is, this is 2015, so this refrigerator is about three years old. And it has hardly ever been run. So, uh, so, uh, well, yeah, since 2012. So, yes, it's three years old. July make three years. And we could use a cooler, put ice in the cooler, put our sodas, mayonnaise, you know, mustards, ketchups, you know, things of that nature in. And they'll stay cool or cold uh, for two or three days. Although, yeah, you may have water or whatnot, but um, one or two dollars a bag of ice uh, versus. Um, messing up a $150, $200 refrigerator. I mean, you know, until I get the pure sine wave in my hands. But as you know, like I said right now, we're just at 100 watts. Um, I'm running the DC lights, which is 15, 15 watts a pop. Um, takes little to no nothing to run them. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's I, I wished we had bought. Uh, we would have bought a um, a battery instead of the panel and uh, the inverter. Um, we should have spent three hundred uh, three hundred dollars on a battery. That way, we could have ran more things on it. You know, more lights, things of that nature. Because I have several uh, uh, camper appliances you know, the little 12 volt fan, things of that nature. Instead of paying uh, $195 for the Renogy solar panel uh, along with the, the inverter. Um, I know $195 wouldn't bought a, a Trojan L16 or, or nothing of that nature, but it would have bought uh, two six, six volt uh, car batteries. I put them in series, and then uh, they were 215 amps pop. But I would put those in series, and uh, would had uh, 215 amps of power. But yeah, that's a little lesson learned. If you start, if 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 you're on a budget like uh, me and my wife is, definitely, this is my advice: get your battery first, your solar panel, and inverter second. Because, uh, like in our situation, you know, we're getting ready to uh, to have our light shut off the whole nine yards. Um, so you, I'd rather have a little something than a whole lot of nothing. But you know, as of right now, that that's my advice is uh, to invest in a, in a decent battery. And yes, when we're starting out, we're gonna we're gonna pop a few batteries. I mean, that's just a given. So don't run out and buy the most expensive, latest, greatest battery they are on the market because you're going to first start out, you're going to pop it, you know. And now what? You're out of X amount of money in batteries, so you just have to turn around and rebuy them again. So get something uh, middle of the road to the cheap end to start out to get, get your feet wet in it and then um, go from there because it is a, a slight learning curve. Okay, here's the bathroom light. I know the camera here ain't doing it no justice, but it's it's okay, I guess. 
I'm pulling it probably about about 45 feet and as you can see here the there's the, the actual AC lights and here's the DC light right, go in the kitchen and show you the other one okay like I showed you the other day uh, here's the the kitchen light and like I said it's just uh, just car bulbs you know backup bulbs but what I've got it set on here is like I said I just press this button here and it makes the lights go out and as you can see lights are out I'm gonna press the button again and it brings them on and I have um, I have them both on so like if the kitchen lights on the bathroom lights on but you can uh, you can manually turn it off and the only reason I've done that is just turn the lights on to go through the house at dark that way it'll shine in the kitchen partially down the hallway and from the bathroom out once again it's just, just the the Renegy solar charger. You see that? Yeah, the Renegy. I'm sorry, I just have one solar panel right now. One 100 watt solar panel, and I have one SunForce 15 watt solar panel. It throws out uh, seven amps, 15 watt, seven amps, and um, the Renegy 100 watt, uh, 17. When I said amps for that one, yeah, seven amp, uh, 15 watt, seven amps. This one here throws out the 100 watt, does 100 watts, and uh, I'm wanting to say 17, 17 volts, something of that nature. And as you can see, the orange lights on. That means I'm under a load. And turn them out, no load. Fully charged battery, and I'm still getting sun into my solar panel. Your first light solar panel, second light's battery, third light is load. And you can press and hold this down for five seconds and then a number will come on and you just turn, uh, keep pressing the number. I have it just to the, um, the period. It'll go for like one through, I don't know, one through eight, one through nine and then it'll start over from zero and then it'll be one dot two dot three dot etc etc I just have it on the dot that way it's standard on and off just like a standard light switch but there you have it